OK, so again, we have another problem. We're going to have to apply our properties of logarithms. And remember, when we have the addition of two logarithms with the same base, we can rewrite that as the product of one logarithm. So therefore, I can rewrite this as log base 4 of x plus 12 times x equals 3. Now, applying distributive property here, I have log base 4 of x squared plus 12x equals 3. Now, what I can do is I can rewrite this in exponential form. So it would be 4 cubed equals x squared plus 12x. Now, again, to solve for x, since I have multiple terms, um, I can rewrite 4 cubed as 64. All right. Then, since I have multiple terms of, of x and of x squared, I need to now isolate them or set them equal to 0. So now I can look into possibly factoring to solve my equation. So now I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me 64 and then add up to give me positive 12. Now it's a negative 64, so I know that my factors, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. But let's just go and deal with all the factors. So 64 would be 64 times 1. We have 30, 32. Um, 16 and 4. Well, 32 times uh, 2. We have 3. Um, let's see, it would be 24, 48. No, uh, 3 would be 20. No, 3 does not go into there. Uh, we could do 16 times 4. And you notice that 16 times 4 is, yeah, that's going to give us our answer. Because we can write this as x plus 16 times x minus 4. Right? This multiplies out to give you that. Now you can apply your zero product property. So x plus 16 equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Then we solve and we get x equals negative 16 and x equals 4. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to make sure we check is see if we have extraneous solutions because the domain of a logarithmic function does not generally contain a lot of negative numbers. So a lot of times we like to highlight looking at the negatives. And we notice that when we put a negative 16 for here, we have log base 4 of negative 16. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can't take the log with a base 4 to equal negative 16 because if you look at this, 4 raised to what number equals negative 16? Since 4 is positive, you can't raise it to a number giving negative 16. So then, therefore, this answer is extraneous. And it's not going to be a part of our solution set. Therefore, our only answer is going to be x equals 4. Thanks.